everybody. We're on the road, headed to get a new bike, looking at a 2022 Honda Grom. I've had my eye on this bike for a while. I've been looking at them. They're hard to get for like a, any anywhere at a decent deal. People are asking a lot of money for them. But I found this one for a good deal. It's got one little flaw on the left side uh, fairing where it's like kind of cracked, but I looked up the piece and it's like 50 bucks or something. So eventually I'll replace that and it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, it's about an hour and a half away and we're about 30 minutes into the drive. So gonna get there soon and uh, check it out but when I was buying it it was basically between this one which is a yellow one and then one that was like I guess it was probably originally black but I think the guy I don't know if he powder coated it or painted it or what he did really but it was like a deep purple and then the thing with this one was it was a nine hundred dollars more but it had like everything that I would want done to it done to it so except for like maybe exhaust but it had a sub cage a handbrake which is like seven hundred dollars alone and the sub cage is probably like three hundred three seventy five four hundred dollars um what else i guess just bars that may have been it but yeah it was like nine hundred dollars more and i was seriously considering it because it had everything i would eventually dump money into this bike on but it was like three and a half hours away whereas this one was like an hour and a half away and i wasn't really liking the paint job on it that deep purple and the sub cages were like a baby blue color it was kind of weird but uh, ended up going with this one and I've been wanting the yellow one. The black and yellow one looks so, I think it looks so good. So I hope we're gonna go check it out. I've never really seen one in person, I don't think. Maybe I have in a dealership, but I only ridden a Grom once. One time it was like a 2019 or 2020 Grom, but uh, never ridden a 2022. So this will be the first time we get to ride that. And yeah, we'll see how we like it. The 2022 Grom's got a couple new things. I mean, obviously it's got the new design, like the new plastics and everything. And it's got the fifth gear instead of four gears, which my Z125 and all the Groms prior to this one had. But uh, this one's got five gears, so that'll be a little bit different. But other than that, I think that's about it. But uh, they look really good. I like them. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Whew, that thing looks nice. God, I love the black and yellow. Minus this little crack right here. I can't wait to get that fixed, but it's... I looked it up and it is only a $50 piece, so as soon as that's not on back order, we're going to get that. But yeah, for anyone new, there's my Z125, which I love. And I'm probably going to ride this for like a month and then probably make a decision and sell one. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep them both, but probably going to want to sell one after a month. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe for sure. I'll probably eventually do like a little comparison between the Z125 and the Grom. All right, let's turn this thing on. So 438 miles is what it has on it. I probably got it with 435. I just took it up to like the gym so far. I will say now that I got used to those KLX 110 wider bars on my Z125 that these stock bars feel like real narrow and weird. I like the 110 bars. They took like maybe an hour to get used to, but they're nice. Woo! This thing is so smooth though. The Z125, it like notoriously has the motor mount usually specifically the rear motor mount kind of start to come loose which you can get a couple torques on it and uh, fix the vibration but notoriously on the z125s those get loose and the bike gets a little vibrate -y. and this thing's pretty fresh so it feels it feels super smooth i don't know if that'll happen on this or not but also the power feels real smooth too i'm liking it The front fork may be a little more soft than the Z125, which isn't great, but can work with it. All right, let's see if she can wheelie. Oh yeah. Yeah, that front fork when I come down, whoo, that front fork is very, very soft. Let's try one more wheelie. I don't want to freaking loop this thing out while I don't have a cage on it, but I do want to try her out. I've heard a lot of people say they put 14 tooth sprockets, which is the front sprocket. I believe it comes stock with a 15 tooth sprocket in the front uh, stock, but I've heard a lot of people doing the 14 tooth, which give it a little more torque. I mean, yeah, it'll wheelie. I'm being cautious because I really don't want to loop it and mess up anything back here. I'm thinking about getting a sub cage for it, but that's gonna be like 300, 400 bucks. So we'll see, we'll see. Let's give her the beans here for a minute. I don't know what the flashing light is on the front. Yeah, 
Yeah, not sure what that little flashing light is. If anyone knows, let me know. So this still hasn't reached the break-in period. I think on this bike, just like pretty much every bike out there, it's 600 miles is the break-in period. Then you do that first oil change. And for most of my bikes that I've had, it kind of opens the bike up a little bit more after you get after that 600 mile break-in. So right now I hit 62 pretty easily, but I wouldn't be surprised if that changes and gets a little quicker. One thing that I will say is a downfall is I, I saw that it has a 1.6 gallon tank, which like the Z125 is a two gallon. I think the older Grom may have had like a 1.8, could have been, could be wrong on that, but it does get better gas mileage. I think my Z125 gets like 70, 75, 80. And on the screen, it's reading that this uh, Grom's getting 97.2 as average, which is really good. So I guess that kind of combats the smaller tank a little bit, but still. All right, let's try one more wheelie here. that sound when I bring it down I do not like that that was a good wheelie though but yeah whew, if you're gonna be wheeling these things a lot might need some stiffer front fork springs or something I don't even know or fork oil or maybe it's my tire could use a little more or less air I don't know I'm gonna have to look at that that was a good wheelie though I'm liking this thing more and more so eventually I do think I'm gonna do a little comparison um, with this and the Z125. I think before I do that, I should probably get an exhaust on this. Ooh, just stalled her out. And fourth gear trying to roll like 10 miles an hour. I do think I'll get an exhaust. I don't think I'll go with anything too expensive. At first I was like, the Yoshi looks so good, but I think I'm gonna go with an Amazon exhaust because I have that on my other bike and it works really well for what it is. And it's only like 90 bucks for the Grom, which is like, damn near half the price what it was for the z125 i think i paid like 155 160 something for the amazon exhaust for the z125 but yeah i think if i do the that exhaust and the pro taper handlebars um the klx 110 handlebars which i'll link below i have them on the z125 and i love them uh i think if i do those two things it'll be pretty fair to compare so and that's not too expensive to do i really do want a sub cage but at the same time, I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to both these bikes or not, so I'm just trying to figure out what I wanna do. Shoot, I was gonna do a top speed run, but uh, I'll probably wait till I pass that break-in period so I can get a true one, but screw it. I guess we'll go right here, see what we can do. I've heard fifth is like an overdrive, so may wanna be in fourth, but we're in fifth. It's tough. We're going downhill. Yeah, nothing crazy. I'm gonna wait till we uh, hit that break-in period and do that first oil change, and then I'll I'll see what she's got for top speed. If I keep wheeling this thing at all, I'm gonna have to do some research on the oil pump mod. I guess you got to do that with the Grom, so new to me but we'll have to throw that on hopefully that's not too hard to install but yeah everybody i think that's gonna do it for this first video on this 2022 grom so far i'm loving this thing i'm really happy with it i love the color too you can't really go wrong with the grom colors they got the yellow the blue and the uh that red white and blue and then now with their 2023 colors if you go on like honda's website you can check out their 2023 colors and there's some sick 2023 colors too so honda did a really good job with the colors i think i think all of them are pretty badass but uh be sure to subscribe we're gonna be doing more videos on this thing uh i'll link the bars i'm gonna probably order a set of klx 110 bars for this thing when i get home maybe i'll order some levers for it too possibly the amazon exhaust but uh thanks for watching everybody leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video